Lost bait killed the police and it raped victim. It was gone from hospital. To seek the help of a member of parliament. You here to see the citizen who's come to see a member of parliament and take her back to hospital, eh? Sorry? You come to take Jessica back to hospital for coming to see a member of parliament, have you? Her legal right to seek help as an Australian. That's okay, mate. We just want to have a chat. We just want to go in there and have a chat to someone, that's all. Yeah, her and me. Oh, okay. She's just left for being in hospital as a prisoner for three years, come to seek the help of a member of parliament. Um, and within three minutes of getting here, they've called the police. Um, they offered to help us the other week. What was your name? Kevin Heaton. Kevin, my name's Heather. Howdy. What brings you here today? Um, three years my partner's been a patient at the hospital yeah. without leave with family, friends, contact calls. They're while in the care of the parks and months ago she was raped by a fellow patient who became pregnant and has given birth to that child at the hospital. Even after that date, I've still not allowed to visit her in the hospital. I'm not allowed to call with my partner. Yeah. Um, I've been told that they can't visit me anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm not allowed to call with my partner. I'm not allowed on hospital grounds. She's not allowed off hospital grounds. It's hell on earth trying to deal with this when all they have to speak to the councillors to try and deal with this rape and the child that come forth from the allies being destroyed and not one person. She's had not had one night with the family, not been able to see a movie in three years, not gone out on a birthday in three years. She hasn't been legally allowed to come to my house in three years or anyone's house. She hasn't seen her father or mother and father in a year and a half, despite begging every member of parliament in the world to give people a night together and give her some leave. And they've called the police. I don't know why, I've been nothing, all I've done is ask him to speak to the Member of Parliament three days ago, Thomas to call me back. And he said he's trying to speak to hell. Now, there's that the police have been now come because oh, Jessica's left the hospital without leave, and, you know, they'll come take her back to hospital. And, as I said, they, you know, they're gonna, now they're going to lock her up in their kitchen. She's going to be trapped in isolation all the night. This has to stop to the human being. Um, so, so yeah, we come. Well, we come here together to film, to come here and seek help. Yeah, because yeah, it's just okay. become too much to, to live this way. Yeah. Every every other person gets to see their family, their loved ones. It's been three years, and it's to the point of where what's the use? Every I've gone with her for three days once before, and they've charged her with eight months on the patient just to spend a couple of nights at the time. Even after she was raped, to try and find out. Yeah, you know, they won't let her speak to you guys about the rape. Well, let's she'll tell you she's raped right now and she'll tell you what happened mm. and not one of you guys will go investigate it. Have you got any ID on you? Just so know who no. I'm talking to? No. Mm. I think it's great that Ross Bates called the police just How instead of calling me to help me. Hello. Maybe eight minutes. Oh, okay. And I wasn't... As I was saying, like, I'm just saying we're, we're seeking, we're desperate for help, mate. Like, I'm talking to you guys, I'm not abusing them. And he said, well, I'm going to call the Member of Parliament now. But then this, the idiot's going, you know, he's going to call you guys like a coward. Like, how is an MP's representative allowed to lie to me and tell me that he's calling the Member of Parliament and he calls you guys? Like, that's a Member of Parliament that's supposed to actually at least be honest. Um, so you know, you user authorised to use reasonable deceit, he's not. So now I know who the Member of Parliament's agent is that officially lied to me on camera not more than a few minutes ago. I was with Papa. That's just wrong. He told me he was calling Ross Bates and waiting for a response. I knew he was calling the police, that's why we waited outside. I've got it on film and I say, Jessica, just wait outside, I bet he's calling the police. No integrity even from here. What was your first name? Kevin. Kevin. Can you actually work for me? What's your last name? Heaton, H-E-A-T-O-N. Sorry, spell it for me again. Heaton, H-E-A-T-O-N. H-E-A-T-O-N. T-O-M for Mike? Your date of birth? Yeah, 10, uh, yeah, uh, well, you'll be getting a call from the hospital soon anyway with a return authority to return for it, you saw. Is that for you or something? No. Uh, but she's no harm to anyone. There's The law specifically states that they can't keep her in there. So, so how did she... 
Which hospital was it, Rubino? Rubino. Yeah, no, we just, um, she walked out. Walked over here. Did you um, pick her up? Or? No, we just walked over together. Oh, okay. Um, really, like, we, you know, the minor specific uh, important to me. Are we talking? Stay over here. They can talk to us over here. Until we call me from the doorway. You should just walk up there. I'll come get you. From the uh, um, coal service station again. Coles, you know that place where we turned around for the hammer drill? Mm -hmm. Go there. Hide. Hide in the toilet. Hang around. Ross Bates, quality MP. This is what they do to rape victims in Queensland. Exactly what they do to rape victims in Queensland. Where'd Jessica go? Oh, she's going for a walk having a smoke. iPads are distracting, aren't they? 